beautiful people and welcome to New Fees Entertainment. Presenting to you is Risikat Adejoke Adegeye, a very ambitious woman, a very successful woman, a woman with passion for people and also for a family, a woman with so much love. And also we'll be checking out so many interesting facts about her and also what causes are dead and as well how she is able to share love even to the fact that her husband married numerous women and her children with them as well but if you are yet to subscribe to our channel we hold you to kindly click on the red subscribe button and as well as the notification bell beside it Princess Risikat Adejoke Adegeye is one of the wives of renowned musician Chief Sunday Adegeye, popularly known as King Sonny Ade, KSA, a former member of Lagos State House of Assembly. Risikat's marriage to the Juju music maestro is blessed with six boys. And Princess Risikat Adejoke Adegeye was 62 years old before her demise. Princess Risikat Adejoke Adegeye was a philanthropist, a politician, and was a former chairmanship aspirant under the platform of All Progressive Congress in Omuwo Odofi local government area. And as well, she represented Amuwa Dofi at the Lagos State House of Assembly between 2011 and 2015. Adegeye was also a member of PDP in her Papa local government area for nine years before she decamped to APC. Following the course of her death, it was being revealed that Princess Risikat Adejoke Adegeye died after a brief illness as confirmed by her son for Larry in a statement on Tuesday, September 21, 2021. The statement read in part, we wish to formally inform from friends, families, well-wishers, political associates and the general public that Honorable Risikat Adjoke Ade Geye passed on after a brief illness during the early hours of Tuesday, 21st September 2021. In an interview in which she granted before her demise as well, she explained to people what actually she has faced as a woman, as a commissioner, a woman full of ambitions as well. So also, she also let out in the interview about her love life with her husband and issues surrounding her job, her aspirations and other issues as well. And in the interview, she was asked that tell us about your career in which she gives answers to be, I am Risikat Adejoke Adegei. I was born and bred in Lagos. I'm a politician, a mother, a wife, and I was once a House of Assembly member in 2707, 2011. I am presently at the House of Assembly Service Commission. She was asked why politics and she responded to it. I was born and bred in politics. My late mother was a politician and since my youth, I determined to be a politician. And God gave me the grace to be a politician that people would know worldwide. What's your view on the current economic situation? She was asked. She said, people are complaining things have gone wrong for long and there is an adage that says Rome was not built in the day. If a place is destroyed, a new foundation is needed to rebuild the house. It will take time. I just want to appeal to people that all these challenges we are encountering now is just for the good. She was also asked, saying, as a female politician, have you ever been looked down upon when airing your views in any political meeting? She said, nobody has ever looked down on me while I was at the assembly. Female members don't act like one because we have 35 males and just 5 ladies. Right from the entrance of the gate, we turn ourselves to men because what a man can do, a woman can do better as well. She was also asked, what higher position are you aspiring to be in politics? She said, my intention is to become a Muwo Odofi local government chairman and I believe I will be there by God's grace and I am going to soar higher than that but I don't count my eggs before it is ash i always commit all i want to do into god's hands because he is only is the only one that can see tomorrow 
She was also asked, you are a commissioner in the newly constituted Lagos State Assembly Commission, what are your roles and functions? In which she said, we have to disengage, engage discipline and we are career managers. We have four commissioners and a chairman and we manage all the staffs of the assembly including our staffs in the commission. She also was asked, how many times did you serve in the House of Assembly and what was your impact there? She responded saying, whoever goes to the assembly for the first time will be under tutelage for two years. Someone like me loves to learn. In about two years, the person will understand what it takes to be a lawmaker. So the first two years is just as if one is a baby who wants to learn, but others may feel they know better. You were learning in the first two years, so what were you able to come up with in the remaining two years? And she said, I came out to support some of the laws that were passed. She was also asked, what impact does King Sonia Ade have in your political life? She said, that's my husband, my darling. Whenever his name is mentioned, I'm always happy. He is a man of honor and a kind man and is a father that always gives support to the wife and children. He gave me a very good support and made me what I am today. And they ask her in what sense? She said, to become an honorable member is not an easy task. About 14 of us came out in 2007 while I was the only one that was chosen. By God's grace, through my husband's name and the God saint, that is my political father, Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tunumbu. So I want to say oh heartedly that my husband is a very supportive husband. He is not just a husband to me but also a father, a brother because whatever I want to do in life, I must tell him since I am I become a political pol a politician, he supported me from the onset. She was also asked that how did you meet your husband and she responded, that was from God because we had a tenant then and this gentleman came to our house and I was around. I was so happy when I met him. We spoke and he came with an elderly man who asked him if he likes me and the man told my mother that Sunday is interested in marrying a daughter. That, and then I was also eager and that was how the love story started. And she was asked that what really attracted him to you and she said I love him as a person as well as his music he got attracted to him despite knowing that he's a married why is that she said I just like him and was determined to marry him as if God has told me that the future will be okay also she was being asked so how has life been with him and she said it has been very comfortable he's a man that one can relate with very quiet in nature very helpful human being and very lovely and caring husband as well and also she was being asked and finally she was asked that as a mother politician and wife how do you combine all together she said i don't think it disturbs being a mother does not stop me from working and moreover politics is not an everyday thing we don't go for meetings every day and we don't go to chamber every day more so i don't have a baby my last child my last child is 30 years of age and that was what she used as a response we pray that the Lord grant her a peace of mind and also console her family, her loved ones and every other person that are so much in love with her and as well the world wishes as well. Alright guys, continue to keep it real and bye.